Hi, my name is Ernest from Lipo for Oz, and I want to go through our two different BMSs or three different BMSs that we sell. So uh, on the left here, the red one is the daily BMS. Uh, on the right here, we've got the two JK BMSs. So I just wanted to go through um, the differences and um, you know give you a little bit of a guide of uh, which one which might be right for you. So the daily BMS, um, basically they come in um, four different models or the four different models that we have is a, either a 12 volt, 24 volt, 36 volt or a 48 volt. On the 12 volt, we have the 250 amp BMS so that you could run something like a three kilowatt inverter. Um, and then for the 24 to 48 volt daily BMSs, we have the 200 amp BMSs, basically so you can run say a five kilowatt inverter. Um, the major differences between the uh, JKs and the um, daily is the daily um, basically is a little bit more I suppose set up ready to to go in the other words that they've got the P and the B minus um, cables already attached with the lugs um, already um, there where on the JK BMS's you'll notice that this one here which is a um, up to 8S BMS um, it doesn't actually have the lugs at all or even the cable you'd need to actually attach that yourself which we actually include the cables um, when you purchase the BMS through us and even on the 8S uh, sorry on the 24S JK BMS here on the right um, they have the cables but you still don't have the lugs so you still need to actually attach those so that's one major difference between the dailies and the, the um, JKs um, also, as you can see, the dailies are quite <clears throat> much bigger uh, unit um, than the, um, the JKs. But yeah, basically the, the daily BMS is a little bit more um, ready to set up. It's probably a little bit use, more user friendly than the JK BMS. That's in my opinion. The daily BMSs also have some accessories like, for example, this LED battery monitor, which we include in all our kits. The Bluetooth dongle is external as well, which again, we include in all our kits. And even the active balance that um, that is an optional extra with the um, dailies is external. So the, the JK BMSs, they are good. Um, you know, the, the thing that I like about the JK BMS is apart from the fact that they're smaller is their auto restart feature. So um, if you set up the BMS and for example, one of your cells um, hits a high or a low voltage disconnect, the JK BMS has a setting where it will disconnect any charge going um, through the BMS until it comes back into range. Um, so good for if you're running electric motors or even if you've got a solar system where you're not monitoring it all the time Maybe overnight it fully depletes the battery and then you know in the morning when the Sun comes out and it starts to charge the battery again Once it comes back into range the BMS will obviously allow that charge to come in where unfortunately with the daily BMS if you hit one of the safety parameters the BMS needs to be manually reset um, so unfortunately it doesn't turn back on automatically um, you need to basically disconnect the balance um, cables which is attached to the back rear attacher and basically the BMS will restart um, so that's the thing that I like most about the JK BMS is, is that restart feature um, they the, the JK BMS's are definitely more programmable so there's a lot more settings than there so if you're a beginner um, you know the JK's take a little bit more setting up than say the dailies um, but um, you know they're, they're, they're certainly a good BMS um, you know a lot of people prefer the JK's over the dailies um, the things that I suppose I don't really like about the, the, the JKs, which I've already mentioned, is the fact that they're not really set up ready to go in the fact that you still need to attach the, um, the B and P minus um, cables. The, they're not even attached on the um, 8S model. Um, the other thing as well, as you can sort of see with the, um, the 8S model, there's only um, a protective plate over the top and the bottom of the BMS, and so, it's good for airflow, but obviously in situations where there may be dust and moisture, it's not that protected. Um, the 24S is, um, you know, in a, in a um, contained um, casing, so there's less likely that moisture or dust will get into that BMS. Um, but certainly for the 8S BMS, it's, uh, you know, stuff can get in and it can get damaged or potentially damaged. 
Um, the other thing um, that I do like about the JKs over the dailies is their active balancer is built in. So every single model, well, the ones that we sell anyway, um, have a two amp active balancer on board. Um, so you don't have to attach any other sort of um, accessories to it to in order to have the active balancer. Um, both of the uh, BMSs have RS-485 and CAN communication if you want to communicate with an inverter, but in both instances, it's not plug and play. So if you want to communicate with an inverter or any other device through the RS-485 or CAN ports, then um, you do need to um, wire up your own loom um, to be able to do that. It's not plug and play. Um, and then probably the other thing is with the four, uh, the 24S BMS uh, on the JKs, there's actually no mounting um, mechanism or, or, or um, tabs. So on the daily and, um, sorry, on the daily BMSs as well as the 8S BMS, you, there's a couple of um, um, mounting holes um, on the on the plates where um, on, the, on the 24S there's no mounting plate. Um, but apart from that, um, look, we've sold more of the daily BMSs just simply because we've stocked those longer than the JKs. Um, but, you know, we, we sell both. Um, you know, the JKs are sort of good in, um, as I sort of mentioned, if you're using a, um, electric motors or you need that restart feature, or even if size is an issue, because obviously if you're tr trying to put it in a battery box, um, or something like that, the dailies are a bit big and won't fit in a battery box if you're running maybe a 280 or a 300 amp hour cell, um, where the daily, uh, where the JK BMS as well. Um, but that's basically a, a quick overview of the two different BMSs. Um, if you want to know anything more about um, the BMSs, um, you know, get in contact through the chat on our website or feel free to jump on the contact us page on the website and um, give us a call or send us an email. Um, and that goes by if you want to know anything else about our other products. Um, and remember, if you're working with LiPo for cells, please do review our product safety guidelines to ensure the safety of yourself and of your products.